Hi, my name is Christine Kelly. I'm the founder and CEO of the Little Kickers Group. I originally founded Little Kickers in London, England, back in 2002, when my son Lucas was two years old and I was really struggling to find any kind of sports programmes for him. There just wasn't really anything at the time in London. So I decided to set up Little Kickers. Really also it was kind of partly involved in the decision process was the fact that up till that point I'd been working for JP Morgan on their graduate scheme and it was very difficult to find a decent work-life balance. I was traveling a lot, I, I barely saw Lucas during the week and I decided really after a while that I needed a change. I didn't want to work in a job anymore where I was a small wheel in a big cog and really very, very replaceable. You know, if I'd quit that job I would have been replaced within two weeks. I wanted to actually do something if I wasn't spending time with my son and I was going to work that would make a difference. Um, so Little Kickers was the thing. The main objective of the company when I set it up was to provide as many kids as possible with a positive introduction to sport. I originally started the classes in London and within a year we'd grown to about 35 classes a week. Um, at that point I realised that I was, if I was going to continue growing the business myself and just setting up more and more classes, probably the quality of what we were doing was going to be compromised. So I started looking into different business models and different ways that I could grow the business. Um, I came across franchising and I loved the concept of franchising because um, it enabled a large group of people to act as entrepreneurs and to be owner operators of businesses um, and to really care about the quality of what they did and make sure that they were providing the best possible service for the children who came to their classes and the parents. What I also liked about franchising was the idea that by clubbing together and by every franchisee paying a small portion of their revenue as a management fee every month, we could build a pool of money that would enable us to create a world-class infrastructure. The, one of the things that surprised me was that we never really advertised for franchisees. We just had people approaching us who were interested in taking on a franchise. We had parents of kids who came to our classes who moved to new areas and wanted to set up little kickers in the areas they'd moved to. Um, we had coaches, we had a whole variety of different people, friends of existing franchisees, family and so on. Um, so the business grew very, very quickly and in 2006 we were approached by a gentleman called Carlo who was from South Africa and was very interested in setting up Little Kickers in South Africa. At the time we were a little bit nervous because we knew how to franchise in the UK but we hadn't really thought too much about franchising overseas and obviously there were kind of more challenges involved with that. But we took the decision to give it a try and to see how we got on and it worked out really well. Um, Carlo now operates through a network of 30 franchisees all over South Africa and has, has been really, really successful. That prompted us to think, well actually if we can do it in South Africa, I'm sure we can franchise in other countries. So what we found was that we were approached by people mainly from English-speaking countries to begin with, um, Australia, New Zealand, um, Canada, and, and we expanded the business through franchising into those countries. As time went on and the business continued to grow really successfully, we were approached by people from the non-Anglophone countries, so Ecuador, Peru, Chile, China, a wide variety of different places. Um, one thing that was interesting, when we tried to franchise in Brazil, we realised that an English slash Canadian football programme might not be that appealing to Brazilian parents when they were the kind of world-class football nation. So uh, what we decided to do there was to launch an English language programme. So in Brazil, children were learning little kickers, but they were also learning English as they, as they completed our programmes. Um, that took off really, really well. We're now, uh, we've only been franchising in Brazil for a couple of years, but we've got over 30 franchises there and it's proving hugely popular. One of the areas that we're looking to develop though going forward is the not-for-profit side of what we do. So when Little Kickers was first established, it wasn't our objective purely to provide classes to kids whose parents could afford it. We wanted to provide um, an introduction to sport for as many children as we could. What we'll be focusing on, I think, over the next five years is really trying to, to, to get into that kind of area and make sure that all children are provided with the opportunity to, to have this positive introduction to football. We've actually started doing quite a lot of not-for-profit work. The most recent thing that we did was sent a couple of coaches over to Malawi um, to work with the Sparkle Preschool there. Um, and they took lots of kit and equipment and things like that um, and, and trained up local people on the ground there. So the teachers from the preschool in how 
able to deliver our program. And the idea is that we'll continue to send people out to Sparkle in Malawi um, and to make sure that the program is being delivered properly and that we have all the kit and equipment and things like that that they need over there. But that's an aspect of the business that we'll be really expanding over the next five years. So the beauty of Little Kickers franchise is that it's locally delivered, but globally recognized. So our franchisees are able to buy into a, a business model whereby they run the classes in their local area, they're recognized in their local communities and they're helping local kids. But actually the infrastructure that they're using to run their business is um, very, very developed and, and a world-class infrastructure. And with that, the way the management fees work is that we take a small fee from every franchisee every month, and that's invested into the infrastructure that we provide to the franchisees. So things like digital marketing, IT systems, coach training and development, merchandise, and so on. The other benefit to joining a franchise network is that franchisees are able to leverage the infrastructure that's been developed over the years in multiple markets and has made a number of other people very successful in running their businesses. We're constantly enhancing what we do from a head office perspective to make sure that we're, we're world class and ahead of the competition um, and the infrastructure we're providing is the best possible infrastructure we can. We communicate regularly with our franchisees to find out what it is that we can do to make their lives more easy. So what do we look for in a franchisee? Typically our franchisees don't come from one particular background or one particular kind of career. We look for a wide range of different people. We really feel that diversity is a thing that, that makes the business a lot stronger. Um, so we also look for franchisees who like to work as part of a team. Um, yes, we are individual business owners, but what we don't tend to do is to try and make our franchisees compete against each other. We're much happier having franchisees who collaborate and who are happy to share their ideas, their best practices, perhaps things that they've learned in their previous career that will be beneficial for little kickers. We're also keen to have franchisees whose main objective is to provide kids with a fun, positive introduction to sport. So people who love to see the smiles on the kids faces at the end of the classes um, and that really motivates them to go to work every day. When franchisees join Little Kickers they tend to um, be quite surprised I think by the family feel that the business has. Um, it's still run by a lot of the same people who founded the business back in 2002 and many of our head office team were franchisees before they joined the head office team so they have a really good idea of exactly the kinds of challenges that our franchisees face and how to resolve those challenges and how to be successful. So I've been running Little Kickers now for 16 years and, and for me the main thing that makes me passionate and excited about getting involved in the business every day is that we have this incredible group of people. I feel so lucky to work with the people I work with. Um, our franchisees are really passionate about what they do and they come from such a broad range of backgrounds and bring so much expertise from different industries into our business um, that we have fantastic collaborations with them where they will tell us what they're seeing happening in, in, in their local areas around competitors. They'll talk to us about previous roles that they've had in different companies and what's worked in those roles. And what's fantastic is being able to leverage all of that expertise of this huge group of people to really push the business forward and for me that's the thing that makes Little Kickers so special.